And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Otan Ten, Warriors of the Lost Empire. This is a game which involves you rolling dice and pushing your luck at the same time strategy. So essentially what this game is trying to be is it's trying to be something like Zombie Dice, very popular game from Steve Jackson, mixed with Cosmic Encounter, very popular game you know I like. Sounds like a great combination, let's look. Psychedelic, lots of lots of cocoa beans and warriors. Tons of these pieces are included with the game. Each player is going to get a set of cards that are shown here. This is attack, defense, uh, friendship, working together with somebody else. And then you have this. These two cards are placed in front of you. This is your attack uh, area and your defense area. Now, there's a bunch of dice that are included with the game, and you'll notice that these dice are green, brown, and red. They show different sides on them. However, all three have the same stuff on them, just in different combinations. You're going to randomly, on your turn, take three of these dice and roll them. The skulls are set aside. That's a terrible thing. Cocoa bean. I'm going to get a cocoa bean. If, so then I can stop, or I can roll three more. Of course, I'm going to roll three more. And I roll two more skulls, my turn's over, and I can't get to do an action this turn. That was a terrible thing, so we're going to try to do something different because that wasn't fun at all. So we roll three dice, and yeah, I got two temples and a skull. That's exciting. And two more temples and a cocoa bean. And three warriors. Well, that's not bad. I'm going to keep rolling. And another warrior, another cocoa bean, and another temple. Uh, this is not very exciting, really. And then uh, the last three, another warrior, another cocoa bean, and another skull. Now that I've rolled all the dice, I can re-roll my temples. You have, that's what temples are. You basically sit down and hold them until you've rolled all your dice. So I'm going to re-roll my temples, and I roll two more skulls, and everything's gone. Okay, this is a horrible example, but it really is a realistic example. But let's say for some reason I stopped. And I got three warriors and three cocoa beans. Great. I keep the cocoa beans and I can put the warriors on my on either attack or defense. So let's say I put them on this side. Uh, I don't. Well, no, I'm. Yeah, I'll put them over here. Everyone gets to do that in a row. Then players will have negotiations on who they're going to attack because people want everyone else's cocoa beans. So you're trying to get 10 of these cocoa beans to get those you win the game. So you want to steal them from other people. You're going to play two cards, one on each side of you, to attack the person to your left or right. This means you're defending against the person to your left or right. This means you're attacking them. This means you're making friendship with them, and you might even send your troops to help them attack somebody else. This will continue the negotiations. You can even pay people cocoa beans for this. Then attacks and, defen and uh, defenses happen, if, if any happen. And when you attack somebody, you can only use people from your attack card, and they're worth a power of four. If you attack someone who's not defending against you, their stuff's a power of one. If they are defending, their stuff's a power of two. You remove warriors, and if you have more warriors left over, you will steal all their cocoa beans. Ha ha ha. And this continues. Then everyone rolls dice again, and this will continue until someone finally wins the game by getting enough cocoa beans. Great combination! Blah! It is. This is a horrible game. Horrible game. And let me tell you why. Zombie Dice is a great game, and, and, I, and, and this is one of those games where I have to compare it to another one because this is so similar to Zombie Dice. It even has red, green, and brown dice that you're pulling and rolling three at a time. I mean, obvious, okay? But it, it, Zombie Dice is a great little game. Push your luck or not. I never win it because I always push my luck, but that's all it is. This takes that and tries to add this other whole level of negotiation. What in the world? Not to mention, Rolling four skulls, as you can see, is really easy. Now, there's another rule with skulls, rule with skulls, that when you roll one, if you have more warriors than the people next to you, they can take one from you every time you roll a skull. Okay. The whole negotiation thing, which, by the way, is written really badly in the rule book, and I'm still not sure I completely understand how it's supposed to work, and how, can I handshake with you who handshakes with him to attack that person over here? Not really quite sure how all of that works, but it's just this whole 
overwrought stuff to steal a cocoa bean. And then when you do steal from someone, if I roll five cocoa beans in my turn and one warrior, I sit there and I go, yay. Because that just means someone's going to steal them from me. There's nothing I can do to defend myself. There's no strategy. I can ask someone to help me and pay them cocoa beans. Why would they help me when they can just steal them from me? <sighs> Sorry. I know I'm ragging on this game a lot, but it's just bad, 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 bad. I do not like it. I, I, I really want it to. And I, if it was just getting the cocoa beans, that would be one thing. You know, just push your luck type thing. And negotiation games are cool if there's like real stakes behind them. The Cocoa Beans and Warriors are the same colors, which doesn't help anything. Um, it's The game rules are they're written really confusing. I'm sorry, this is a complete miss for me. I cannot recommend it because I can't think who would like it. People like short push your luck games. People like long drawn out negotiation games. The two don't mix. This is two things that shouldn't have come together with a theme that kind of makes sense. Is there really great wars over the Cocoa Beans? Uh, all right, just don't get it. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. At the door. Yeah. Yeah.